Right, hello everybody, I appreciate you watching the channel once again. Um, this video I just wanted to take advantage of this opportunity here to, to quickly show you uh, how to remove the valve cover gasket on a um, uh, Saab 9.3. Uh, this one is a 2006. So uh, we're just doing some contract work here for a, a dealership. So I uh, had the opportunity and just wanted to, to film it just to point out how you do this. Now, I've already replaced the gasket on this. I just finally got this uh, reseated back in here. But to remove it, uh, it's pretty straightforward. You know, overall, it's not that bad of a job. Uh, there are some other videos out there that, that show you as well. Um, but for what I did, just real quickly, was uh, first disconnect the battery, um, and then you want to start getting a lot of this stuff out of the way. Uh, you spend more time getting um, pieces out of the way than you actually do doing the actual uh, valve cover gasket. Um, so the first thing to get out of the way would be um, your coils, which I already have mine sitting over there. Uh, they're all just plugged in like that. Um, and then you're going to want to work on getting this thing out of the way as far as your, your wiring harness for the fuel rail. There are three nuts. There's one right here. There's one up here. And then you got this one right there. Once those three are out and all this unplugged, I even unplugged it up here too, then you can kind of peel this back to give you some room uh, for the valve cover. Unplug the uh, sensor for the coolant temperature sensor. This bracket you're going to remove too. There's a screw right there and a screw right there, about 10 mil. Uh, you can remove the fuel rail right here. It's a 15 16 and uh, I believe 5 eighths or 7 eighths. Um, well, I don't know what size that one is. I chose not to do that. Um, but this is the trouble area because these fuel rails want to hit up on this corner as you go to pull the thing off. Uh, I also removed the air box because uh, this little pipe right here you need to push out of the way to get at that. Unplug the PCV hose um, that's on the back of that. And I also unplugged, there he is, the, um, the coolant reservoir. Just the, it's just an overflow hose, so there's no actual coolant in it. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, once you kind of have all the stuff out of the way, you got uh, all your bolts for the cam cover. There's four in the center. One, two, three, and four all on the side. Uh, I also just loosen the exhaust shield to give myself some room but Saab being the, the wizards that they were they they kind of give you some space to get a ratchet in there um, so you don't have to do that I just chose to and then you got two on this side there he is underneath the air duct underneath the fuel rail another four and then two more on this side um, so it's pretty simple once you uh, you get all those bolts out there is a there's a really nice pry point right here where I was able to get a pry bar and just gently break them free right like that. Installs the uh, the opposite of reverse, so I'm, I'm installing this right now. Um, I will say, I, compared to valve cover gaskets on the older Sobs. Uh, this this one was pretty pretty easy. Uh, the gasket sits in there nicely. Uh, you do have all these uh, little grommets for every bolt, which was kind of unique. Um, I went and pulled all these off, only to find that the Felpro ones I had were too stiff to to replace. So I'm just using the, the old grommets for this. Um, not really that big of an issue. You can use a little bit of RTV to kind of help hold the gasket in there. But they have, if I can get a good angle, um, they have all these tabs that just tab right into the, the cams, or the, which made it really easy to put on. Okay, hope that helped. There's a lot of traffic noise, so it's kind of hard to make a video. That's why I didn't want to do a, a full one. But I hope that just kind of gives you uh, some pointers on how to um, take this cam, shover, uh, cam cover off. It's pretty straightforward. But this way, from this angle, you can see uh, everything that you need to remove.